Hello, fellow birders. My name is Dennis Kania. Today, we're going to be taking a closer look at three female warblers that happen to be predominantly yellow in color. On the DuPage Birding Club Education Channel, we'll be discussing all things bird related. As I mentioned, we'll be taking a closer look at three female warblers, those being yellow warbler, hooded warbler, and Wilson's warbler. So here they are all visually. If we were looking at males, it would be no problem separating these three birds. But when we're looking at the females, you can see there's a lot that they have in common. For one, they are kind of olivey on the back with um, an olive crown. We see that in all three of these individuals. We see that they have a predominantly yellow face, all three of these individuals, and their underparts are all very, very yellow as well. So those are the main similarities for these three species. And it requires them taking a closer look. So here, we're gonna start with the yellow warbler, and there's a few key features that I'd like you to concentrate on here. If we look at the wing, all the feathers in the wing are edged in yellow. We've got the tertials here that have a strong yellow edge to them, the secondary, the primaries, all have yellow edges. The greater coverts, and what we can see of the median coverts, you can see that there are yellow edges here, and even the allula, in this case, has some yellow on it. So all those feathers, create a, quite a striking pattern with those yellow edges. You can see it even more strongly here in this angle. The other thing I'd like you to focus on is the tail. And because this bird is being held in the hand, the tail is all flared out. And normally from the upper side, you wouldn't see all of this yellow. You'd have to look to the underside in order to see the fact that there is this yellow panel underneath the uh, tail. And that is a characteristic that is only found on this yellow warbler. The next species, is hooded warbler. And the things I'd like you to focus on here is again, taking a quick look at the wing, you can see how it's rather dark looking. There are some olive edges to some of these feathers, but this feather, this uh, wing compared to this wing or this wing is very, very dark. So again, the really strong patterning of those yellow edges on yellow warbler and the hooded, it lacks that. I'd like to also take a close look at the face pattern and you can see in the lore, this area in front of the eye, you can see that there's a dark smudge and that's prominent here as well as here and here. So we're seeing it in all three examples. The tail is unique in the fact that it has these, in the outer tail feathers, we have the white inner webs to the tail. We, again, because of the bird being held, those tail feathers are somewhat spread out. The good news is, is that when this bird forages, it does like to spread its tail a lot. So it is willing to share the fact that it has these white inner webs. So that's something to look for. On occasion, we'll get hooded warbler females that have a bit of a hood that's characteristic of the male. And this example here, you can see it's just on the back end of the ear coverts, but I have seen them where they'll extend much further up and you're actually get, getting close to having a full hood like you'd have on a male. The next species that we have to discuss is the uh, Wilson's warbler. Again, a dark looking wing. There are some olivey edges to it, but nothing at all as strong and uh, powerful as what we're seeing on the wing of the yellow warbler. If we look at the face pattern, we can see that the lore in front of the eye is all yellowish. It doesn't have that dark smudge like we saw on the hooded. And if we go down to the tail, we can see that this tail is spread just a little bit. If there were some white um, inner webs to these outer tail feathers, some of that would be showing down here and we're not seeing any of that. And obviously from the upper side, we're not gonna get to see the yellow panels that are characteristic of yellow warbler. But if we did get to see this bird's undertail, you'd see that it's dark. I've thrown in a male Wilson's warbler here, just so you can get a feel for the posture of this bird. You can see that um, it looks rather large headed. It's kind of a chunky body with a short tail and uh, it almost appears to be without a neck. And also note that it has a very small bill. So in summary of these three species, yellow warbler is very distinctive from the other two species by the fact that it does have those really strong yellow edges to the wing feathers and to the tail feathers. And so even in this bird with the wing flared out, you can see that those edges are very, very yellow. And I threw this image in here just so that you could see the underside of the tail and you can see just how bold those yellow webbings are. And I've actually used this in faraway places 
where we didn't expect to see yellow warbler and we had a mysterious little drab warbler in front of us, once in the Galapagos, another time in the Costa Rica. Um, and it wasn't until I actually saw those, those yellow panels in the underside of the tail that I was able to confirm you know, what I was looking at. So that's a key feature to always keep in mind. The hooded warbler female is very distinctive in that it does have that dark smudge in the lower, and it does have those white inner webs to the outer tail feathers. Wilson's warbler female has a yellow lower, and it lacks all those markings in the tail. It's lacking any white webbing, it's lacking the yellowish panel. So it's gonna have just a dark tail. Uh, when directly comparing hooded warblers with Wilson's warblers, I find that hooded's will look longer tailed than Wilson's, hooded's will appear longer billed than Wilson's, and hooded's appear more slim bodied overall than Wilson's, which appear chunky. Uh, Wilson's, as I said, will even look as if they're missing their neck. So thanks for taking the time to view this video. Hopefully we have given you some bird food for thought, and I hope you'll join us again in the future as we explore all things bird related.